this property is 43 acres and five paddocks and we run a research farm here and we needed to have the paddocks um, more intensified um, because we want to be able to control the, the eating habits of these research animals and so we we, we rung around and I was, I was given the name of Tony and he came around and he he looked at the place and he seemed to seemed to be a sort of a guy who could formulate a bit of a vision as to how the whole thing should work and it was very much a blank canvas when he turned up he sort of understood what we tried to achieve in terms of keeping animals out of the water um, but also the need for a more and more more intensified sort of grazing so that we can control the intake of, um, of grass and uh, so he came up with a bit of a plan and we sort of talked it through and he, he put it in place. So that was, that was, that was back in 2014-2015. We, we got him in again because when he came in the last time, um, everything that he hadn't done needed to be done. So, so all the stuff he has, had done was perfectly fine, but it really showed up the rest of the farm's fencing to be inadequate. Because when he puts the wood in, he pre-dries it, so when, it, when, when, when the fence goes in, it doesn't go in wet, so it doesn't shrink. So, we, so all your butts line up perfectly, even years after he's done the job, which is really neat. And, and the way that he sort of flows the, flows the fence, this way and that way, is, is a sight to behold. You know, he, he does a really good job. I think the key thing with, with a white fence is that when it's up, it's up. You, you never have a problem with it you know, at all. And um, yeah, we've never had, never had him come and replace anything. It's always been adding on to what he's already done.